Morning Grace, uh, it is Thursday morning, um, just started work about 10 minutes ago, um, I'll show you the uh, time and the outside temperature at the moment, if you can hear a little um, hissing in the background, um, I'm actually going to be doing my um, part range test today regarding the air conditioning. Now, yesterday while I was actually out working I only used it for about two and a half hours and something has become very apparent when you're actually using the air conditioning uh, rather than using the heat cycle of the heat pump uh, in reverse is that it uses next to no energy um, I'll show you the infotainment center screen in a moment um, and it basically pulses up and down but with virtually no energy usage now I noticed this yesterday because well, I didn't have the, the energy usage screen up, but what happened was I was just driving in the morning and I had the air conditioning on because it was quite warm and my main battery indi uh, uh, indicator, including the GOM, virtually registered no difference um, as I was driving. When you use a heat pump, it, you, you can see it drain a little bit and it just wasn't actually affecting it. And I thought, that's not right. It's really cold in here. Uh, the air conditioning is working perfectly, but for some reason... Um, the range wasn't dropping off or the battery for that matter um, and I was just driving like normal so I went as I went on to the infotainment uh, uh, screen and actually looked onto that screen and it was just hovering I mean you can't really see because it's not intricate on the uh, half moon dial it goes like you know 1.53 uh, 4.5 and 6 kilowatt usage uh, maybe Nissan could do a software update and actually make that a lot more uh, um, like make it more rounder and actually still have six kilowatts and then actually have more segments so we can actually see how much is being used but anyway i think it's using next to nothing um it's probably using i'd say on that kind of scale probably about 300 watts um, whereas a heat pump will predominantly use probably about even when i've it set like i showed you earlier in the year at about uh 17.5 to 18.5 degrees c on the actual heat setting um it fluctuates around uh, i'd say 700 watts can or 800 watts which you can see so the point i'm trying to make guys <clears throat> if you're actually hot in the 28 in sand leaf and you want to use the air conditioning um because we're out on the road all day or sitting in the car and it's hard sometimes to actually find shade it might be worth your while just running the air conditioning uh, because the say i'm actually going to do this test today and actually see exactly how we get on so the plan is to leave it running all the time that i'm actually working i mean i'm actually leaving it running now while i'm stationary i'm just going to go and get a coffee um and uh we'll see how we get on so i'll speak to you guys in a little while bye for now welcome back guys um i've just been driving for around two hours now with the air conditioning on um and I am absolutely freezing my proverbials off. Um, I'm actually going to call it um, a day now. I'm not going to leave it running all day. There's no point. I've been. I've done a mixture of um, predominantly 40s and 50s um, in my 38 or nearly 39 miles, which I'll show you in a moment uh, this morning. Um, there's actually um, molecules actually forming. On the windscreen i don't know if you can see those along the uh, bottom there it's so cold in here um it's actually 15 degrees outside um, and i've actually had the window open to actually warm the car up so um that's created even more drag uh, but the point i wanted to make and show you guys is uh <clears throat> if you look at my i mean i've done nearly 40 miles um average speed is 20. um my miles per kilowatt hour if i go down to my uh drive computer too which is the uh, one that I leave running all the time. I know this loops over, it's 999 continuously, but my average on a day to day basis and driving it normally and hammering it and everything else um, with the heat pump on and the air conditioning and everything else is 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, so going back to the one I've got today, um, it's exactly the same. And this gauge is actually very accurate then because that is actually, that's just flicked off as you just see it then. Um, and as I say, you can still see the air conditioning. I'm only using fan speed one, not that it matters um, too much in the scheme of things. Um, but the point I wanted to make, guys, I see it's just come back on now, um, but it's not using virtually any energy. Um, 
So, say, the point I wanted to make, guys, if you are a private hire or taxi driver and you're using the 28 Nissan Leaf and it is getting warm during the day, don't have any qualms about using this system, uh, the air conditioning, that is. Um, it affects the range by nothing. Um, it probably is affecting it, but it's such a small level. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a bit dry in because I've, I've turned the air conditioning off now, by the way, because I don't need it on. Um, um, 4.3 miles uh, per kilowatt hour is exactly the same as what you'd get whether you've got it on or off. So, as the great man once said, stay cool and um, don't have any problems about using it. Um, obviously, it's going to be great for you and your customers or your passengers if you're using this in the domestic market. Um, now, the reasons why I think it's using virtually no power, like the science behind it, I did look into the usage of the heat pump uh, before I got um, Beverly. And the liquid, I believe it's a liquid, or is it a gas form? I can't remember now. But anyway, it's very, very cold in its um, normal state. So I assume that all that's happening is the compressor is just moving that fluid through the matrix um, in a cold format rather than the reverse in the heat pump with the heat through the matrix. And it's that's the reason it's using no energy because that liquid or gas, whatever it is, is actually very, very cold in the first place. And I say the compressor is probably using 150 watts maximum just to pump it around the system. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day and I hope you find the uh, air conditioning uh, video uh, helpful. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.